Hey guys, in this video I want to walk through how you can automate the process of sending uh, a lost lead back to Facebook Business Manager for a custom audience so that you can retarget someone, okay? So let's say that someone fills out your, your landing page and you try to reach out to them, they go through your entire uh, drip campaign so forth, you don't hear from them or whatever. <clears throat> you can try to retarget them uh, to try to get them engaged again with your ad so that you can maybe send them to, uh, to, to Facebook Messenger and then you can begin a conversation there or, or some other uh, objective with your ad, right? <clears throat> well, this video is gonna show you how you can very easily achieve this, all right? Uh, I'm not going to show you how you're going to set up that retargeting ad in this video. I'm just going to show you how you can get that information back into a custom audience automatically through Zapier. Now, I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to connect a Google Sheets file that's going to have that lead information to Zapier to send it over to the Facebook Business Manager custom audience. You'll use either Sheets or something else. You could use a CRM. The purpose of this video isn't to show every application that this can work with. But basically, wherever you're categorizing a lead as being lost, if you can connect that application to Zapier, and if Zapier can see that that lead is lost, then you can have that trigger uh, the Zap that will send that data over to Business Manager. Now, I might create another video that shows some other application for that, but for this one, I just want to show you really quickly how we can do this with Google Sheets. Okay, so I already have a Google Sheets file created. I'm not going to show you how to set one up. But let's just, uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find that Sheets file real quick. Okay, so here is that very simple Google Sheets file that I have set up. Now, um, again, bear in mind, this is just very basic. This is just for the purpose of this video. You could, you could use another Zap that automates the process of sending data from uh, from your landing page uh, or something else, maybe a CRM or something like that into Sheets, and then follow this Zap exactly from Sheets to Zapier to Facebook Business Manager. Um, or you could get rid of the Sheets equation and use a CRM or something like that. Uh, I, I just can't show you here how to set up for every single application out there known to man. You can reach out to me and try to see if we can figure out how that might work for whatever application you're looking to use. But really quickly, what I'm showing you here is I got the person's phone number, uh, their email, and then a status of lost. I don't care about the, any of the other information in there for them. I just need to add this email in there whenever this person is marked as being lost. So let's do this. Let's go into Zapier and let's click on create a zap or make a zap. Take you to the same spot. Now really quickly though, I want to point out for this to work, you've got to have a premium Zapier account. and I know a lot of people like to balk at the idea of having to spend 20 bucks a month or whatever it costs for Zapier, but you really want to start using Zapier to automate a lot of your different processes. Um, that way you can spend less time on this kind of stuff and make more money and also have fewer uh, hiccups in your, your entire sales process, okay? So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to search really quickly for Facebook. Uh, custom audiences. So this is the one that I would be adding in. I just want to show you, I can't add it as the trigger step, but I wanted to show you really quickly that this is marked as a premium option. So you've got to have that premium plan. But also one other thing too is you've got to sync with your Facebook account. I'm already synced with it, so I'm not going to show you here how in this video how you got to do that. But whenever you go to set this up for the first time, it's gonna ask you to connect over to, to Facebook. And I think it basically just makes you authenticate into your account as if you were logging in. So that's what you have to do. We'll skip that. What I'm gonna do though is I wanna start this off with Sheets because that's where my lost leads are gonna be showing up. So I'm gonna click on Google Sheets and then now choose Trigger Event. I want to find new Spreadsheet Row. They, be, they give you three different options in here, but I want Spreadsheet Row. And what that's gonna be is whenever I add in here a new lead okay uh that is going to trigger this zap now the way i have it set up is um i'm going to trigger this by uh texting texting in a lead and i have another zap that will take that text message coming in from twilio and add it right in here and that will kick off this process so i, I could pretend pretend for a minute that i'm a sales guy out on the field and i text this in really quickly to that uh, Twilio number that I have saved as a contact in my phone 
and with the phone number and then the email it says lost, it would go right in here, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and let's go back over here to Zapier. Let's click on continue. Google Sheets account. Let's connect to our account. So this is my account here, so let's click there. And if, if you didn't have one that shows up in there, it would probably ask you to authenticate into your Google account. So let's click into continue next. Okay, spreadsheet. Now I gotta find a spreadsheet. So it's gonna to default to showing the most recent spreadsheet that's been edited in your account. So it's this one here, the Facebook Auto Leads, Car Lead Magnet, Lead Slinger. And then let's go into worksheet, click there. And I wanna use this second worksheet here. It's the Facebook Custom Leads, or Custom Audience Lost Leads. So that's it right here, Facebook Custom Audience Lost Leads. Okay, let's click on continue. And let's test a trigger. So now I need to send information. Uh, okay, so it, it brought in this sample here. So it, it brought in uh, that sample. If I, I didn't have anything in here, then it would come back and air out and then I'd have to add in that trigger uh, sample data. And that's like that for all Zaps. When you're setting these up, you gotta submit some sample data through for, for Zap, for Zapier to be able to find it and then go on to the next step. So let's go ahead and click on continue here. Now here is where I can put in Facebook custom audiences. Now this shows up here at the top because these are some of the most recent options I've been using. Um, you would have to search over here for Facebook custom audiences. Let's go ahead and click into Facebook custom audiences and then click on choose action event. Gives you two options. I wanna add this email to a custom audience. I don't wanna create a custom audience. I wanna add one. Uh, you could use this for some other option if it, if it made sense for your business. Um, but I wanna add this to an existing custom audience. So let's click on continue and click in here and then i got it again i got to be authenticated in my account i'm already authenticated so i'm gonna go ahead and click there click on continue now i've got several ad accounts in here that i'm going to find um the right one that i'm using over here so um and by the way this is facebook business manager if you're not familiar with it um off to the left over here you would be under um, audiences and then you would go into the appropriate ad account that you want to set this up under. And then you're going to be setting it up in one of these custom audiences that you've already set up. So back in Zapier though, let's click into the right ad account. And custom audience, let's click into the right custom audience we want to use. So I'm going to use the remarketing uh, custom audience. And then for the email field, I'm going to click in here. And now what you get in this drop down is you got options that show up here from previous steps by previous steps what i mean here is this is information coming in from this previous step so this is only a two-step zap but if i had like seven or eight or 14 of these steps in here like i do in some of the other ones i have um, i would be able to see information from every single one of those steps show up in here that i could pull in and put into that email field now obviously i don't want to put in like a phone number i want to put in an email so let's go ahead and find the email field from Google Sheets, put that in there. And so basically what this is saying is it's gonna find in Sheets the most recent row of data and add that in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and click into continue. Test and review. Before I do that, I wanna go into this audience here and prove to you that this email doesn't show up. So let's go into this audience. Let's go into remarketing here. Go into history over here. So there isn't any activity in here, but what I would expect to find here in a second is we should see some data show up. So let's go ahead and add this in after we test. Okay, so let's let's go find a, a different custom audience instead. Which one do I want to use? Let's go find a different ad account. Okay, here we go. So I'm using a different ad account and I have a bunch of different custom audiences for this one. I'm going to use this custom audience FHL and I've got three rows in here that I just added the other day for this brand new custom audience. Let's go ahead and add it in. So here in a second, we should expect to see a fourth row in for 10-1 because today is 10-1-2020. Uh, let's go back to Zapier. Okay, so you shouldn't run into this error. This is... Um, <laughs> Uh, let's go back in here. Let's go to, uh, let's see here, 
custom email. Change that ad account. And I want to use FHL. I don't need to change the email field. Let's click on continue. Test and review. Perfect. So that was just added. If we go over here, we should now see four rows of data when I refresh this. There we go. So we got four rows of data. So I've got one from 10 1 2020. So now I can remarket to all four of these rows. So there you go. So now, again, um, whenever I trigger, uh, you know, whenever I have a triggering event of a new lead that was lost, I can have it added in here or I can have it in my CRM or whatever. That's going to flow through now in Zapier once I turn this on uh, and then add that into my custom audience. So once this is turned on, I will show you another example real quick. Let's give this a name. Automate. Okay. So there it is. And then I would probably move this uh, the zap over into an accord uh, you know, into the correct folder, but I'm not going to do that right now. All right, so real quick, got four rows of data in there. I want to show you this again real quick. Let's put in another uh, put another row in here. Fake phone number, and then help. Okay, so that's going to go through Zapier. Go to task history real quick and I'll see that this shows up as going through. Refresh this. Okay, so there we go. So there's our Zap. It succeeded in the task history in Zapier. So we go back over here to business manager and refresh this. This is going to show me five rows of data in here. There we go. So we got five lost leads that we can now retarget with. Now obviously you'd want to retarget more than just five, but you can build up this custom audience. You might actually have other individuals added in here already, but this is just a brand new one that was created yesterday for testing things out. So, all right guys, if you have any questions, let me know.